Tesla has made some major announcements that have gone under the radar. They have released new models, lowered prices, and are about to make 10 huge changes before the end of the year. Some Tesla owners and fans will love these changes, while others will hate them. Here are some of the changes that Tesla is planning. The all-new refreshed Model 3, codenamed Project Highland, is coming soon. It will have a major update to the exterior and interior, as well as new features and technology. Tesla is also planning to release a new version of its autopilot software, which will include more advanced features such as self-driving on city streets. The company is also lowering prices on some of its models, making them more affordable for more people. Tesla is also planning to open new factories in Germany and Texas, which will help it to increase production and meet demand. These are just a few of the changes that Tesla is planning for the rest of 2023. The company is constantly innovating and looking for ways to improve its products and services. It will be interesting to see what other changes Tesla announces in the coming months. The Tesla Model 3 is about to receive a major refresh, which will include a new front end, rear end, and interior design. The new interior will have soft touch materials, a rear entertainment display, ambient lighting, a better sound system, and ventilated seats. The car will also get hardware 4, which includes more cameras and a more advanced self-driving system. The refreshed Model 3 is expected to be released in September or October 2023. Tesla is also planning to release the Cybertruck in the same time frame. The Cybertruck has been delayed several times, but it appears that Tesla is finally on track to start production. If you are considering buying a Model 3, you may want to wait for the refreshed version. The new model will have a number of improvements that make it a better car. However, if you need a car now, Tesla is offering up to $5,000 off the price of inventory Model 3 seconds. Tesla is planning to hold a delivery event for the Cybertruck in September 2023. It is unclear who will be getting the first Cybertrucks, but it is likely that Tesla will prioritize early reservation holders. Production of the Cybertruck will ramp up in 2024 and Tesla will eventually be making them in larger quantities. There are still a lot of unanswered questions about the Cybertruck, such as the final price and which models will be available. Tesla has said that the Cybertruck will be more expensive than the Model 3, but it is unclear by how much. It is also possible that Tesla will release a cheaper base model of the Cybertruck at some point. The Tesla Model Y is in a bit of an odd position right now, as it is being overshadowed by the upcoming Cybertruck and the refreshed Model 3. However, the Model Y is still a great car, and it is currently a good time to buy one. The economy is recovering, and new vehicle price inflation has disappeared. New buyers are saving over $10,000 on new base models. The video sponsor, Masterworks, is a company that allows you to invest in famous artworks. Masterworks has had some great returns in recent years, with some of its investments generating over 70% annualized returns. If you are interested in investing in art, Masterworks is a great option. The Tesla Model Y is going to get a refresh similar to that of the Model 3, but it won't be coming until next year, probably fall of 2024 at the earliest. This means that the Model Y will be the forgotten Tesla child for a while, as the Model 3 and Cybertruck will be getting all the attention. However, there are a few reasons why this might not be a bad thing for the Model Y first. The Model Y is already the best-selling car in the world, so there is still a lot of demand for it. Second, the Model 3 is still missing some critical features, such as hardware 4.0. This means that the Model Y will still be the more advanced car for a while. Overall, the Model Y refresh is not a major concern for Tesla. The car is still selling well, and it will still be the more advanced car for a while. Tesla can afford to take its time with the refresh, and it can focus on other products, such as the Cybertruck. The Tesla Model Y is going to get a refresh, but it won't be until 2024 or 2025. This means that the aesthetic of the Model Y may be a bit older, but technically speaking, it should be on par with the Model 3 in terms of range, battery capacity, and hardware 4.0. There has also been speculation about new colors that Tesla could release. Some possible colors include Ultra Red, Quicksilver, Midnight Cherry, and a rumored Bit Blue. Tesla has been working on new colors for a while, and the imminent release of the refreshed Model 3 could be the perfect time for Tesla to launch them. If you are considering buying a Model Y, the best time to buy is now. The refresh is still a few years away, and there are still a lot of great features in the current Model Y. You can also take advantage of the federal tax incentives that are available for electric vehicles. The Model S and Model X are also getting a minor refresh. This refresh will include a front bumper camera, similar to the one on the Cybertruck in Model 3. The refresh is expected to be released by the end of the year or early next year. 
Tesla has announced a new, cheaper version of the Model S and Model X called the Standard Range. This new model has a lower range and slower acceleration than the Long Range models, but it is also significantly cheaper. The Standard Range Model S starts at $78,490, which is $10,000 less than the Long Range model. It has a range of 320 miles and can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3.7 seconds. The standard range Model X starts at $88,490, which is also $10,000 less than the long range model. It has a range of 269 miles and can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 4.8 seconds. Tesla has not confirmed how the standard range models achieve their lower price. However, it is believed that Tesla is software locking the batteries in these models to limit their range and performance. The standard range models are a new option for buyers who are looking for a more affordable Tesla. However, they are not as capable as the long-range models. The Tesla Model S and Model X have been updated with new, cheaper standard-range models. These models have a lower range and slower acceleration than the long-range models, but they are also significantly cheaper. The standard-range Model S starts at $78,490, which is $10,000 less than the long-range model. It has a range of 320 miles and can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3.7 seconds. The standard range Model X starts at $88,490, which is also $10,000 less than the long range model. It has a range of 269 miles and can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 4.8 seconds. The standard range models are powered by the same batteries as the long range models, but they have software locks that limit their range and performance. Tesla has not confirmed whether it will offer the ability to unlock these features in the future. The standard range models are not eligible for the federal tax incentive of $7,500. However, Tesla does offer some new business tax incentives for these models. Overall, the standard range models are a good option for buyers who are looking for a more affordable Tesla. However, they are not as capable as the long-range models. Tesla is expected to release a major software update by the end of the year, similar to the holiday updates in previous years. This update is rumored to include four new features. Dolby Atmos support for speakers inside of Tesla vehicles, an app store for Tesla vehicles, more streaming apps such as Audible and Amazon Music, official AirPlay support for Tesla vehicles, more updates to full self-driving. The App Store and Dolby Atmos support are two of the most anticipated features. The App Store would allow Tesla owners to download third-party apps for their vehicles, while Dolby Atmos would provide a more immersive audio experience. The other two features, more streaming apps and AirPlay support, would also be welcome additions. More streaming apps would give Tesla owners more options for listening to music and watching videos, while AirPlay support would make it easier to share content from their phones with their vehicles. Finally, Tesla is also expected to release more updates to full self-driving. This feature is still in beta, but it is gradually becoming more capable. Overall, the upcoming software update is expected to be a significant one. It will bring a number of new features that will make Tesla vehicles even more enjoyable to own and use.